stop the violence. That's the message from two Fort Wayne fathers tonight. They are speaking out for the first time since their children were killed in a quadruple homicide. We have live team coverage tonight. News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson joins us live from Holton Avenue with more. Angelica. Dejana Arrington and her brother Trey Harris were two of the victims killed in a home on Holton Avenue. As their fathers mourn their tragic death, they're calling on the community to take action. Dejana was due to give birth to her baby boy this week. She and her brother Trey were both 18 years old, and her families, their families say they had promising futures. Their mother, Consuela Arrington, was also killed in the brutal attack. And 14-year-old Trinity Harrison, their sister, is recovering in the hospital from gunshot and stab wounds. In the wake of this terrible tragedy, the families are calling for peace. I'm hoping the community to come together and stop all this craziness. This has to stop sometime. We're, we just need more fathers to man up and raise their sons the right way. And that would probably kill half of the problem. I don't know, but got to put them guns down. No funeral arrangements have been made yet because their families are still trying to come up with the money. The fathers say they are accepting donations to help bury Trey, Deshana, and her unborn child. If you'd like to donate, you would do that at the funeral home. Nelson Memorial Garden will receive those donations. They've also set up an account at PNC Bank under Holton Avenue Tragedy. Reporting live on Holton Avenue, Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.